You guys, we're out here at uh, beautiful South Dakota in the Hell Creek Formation. Say hi. Hi. Yeah, we're all um, we're getting ready to dig. Our, uh gonna set off soon. Say hi. Hi there. How are you doing? Go. Digging in Lake Cretaceous, 67 and a half million years to about 65. And uh, we'll we'll see what we can find. Another bank, the other side of that wall. You see this orange ironstone pebbles. Okay, those ironstone pebbles were tumbling down this river system too. You see it right here. See those, Kama? Yeah. All those ironstones. Okay, we're standing right on top of good fossiliferous layer called the A horizon. Right over there, where that little rectangular patch of dirt has been dug out. That's where that boy was finding a lot of those triceratops seeds. Uh, by screening, doing a lot of screening. Okay. Uh, now, we basically split up into A, B, C, D, and E, and F horizons. When we get down there, I'll show you. Um, each one has a slightly different uh, trick to him. Um, for the first, oh, I think for the first, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes maybe, we're going to surface collect. We'll see if anything new is washed out. Just so you get your eyes adjusted to seeing these things. Each one of you will get a Ziploc baggie, and this is for chunks of bone, bits and pieces of stuff that we can't identify. If you find something I can identify that's a little more interesting, I will bag it separately in little tiny bags and label it for you so you know what you got. Just hold it All down? Right. Yeah, now it's recording. Okay. All right, All right. We're now start. we're recording because Andrew wants me to record for him. All right, no, you got to come over here. Give, give him a look. Where? Right. What do you have? Look, all the way in there. Oh, my goodness. What is See that? Right there. It's, uh, <laughs> it's the tendon that we were working on earlier. Whoa. So we got to remove a lot of this up here since it's going down into the cliff, not straight. Right. Which means um, to remove all that, we're using uh, this little diamond. Yeah, that's what I usually sit on, right? <laughs> or uh, lean on. Yeah. Okay. But we're trying to remove lots of chunks and we're putting in the sifter right there. Okay. So. And there's stuff in here. A lot of this is just clay and ironstone, but um, we're finding stuff in, in the sifting. Like uh, the turtle shell that we found earlier, uh, we thought it was a root because there was uh, stuff growing in it. Okay. And um, we uh, just dug around it, and then a guy came over and said, "No, no, that's not a that's not a root. That's a turtle shell." And there was, it was not just a little sliver of turtle shell. There was actually a decent amount in there. It was maybe about... Yeah, in fact, you got it right up there. It's actually right up there. Uh, yeah. It was in, uh, it was probably in one piece when... We'll when show it to you later. But uh, our ignorance, we uh, removed too much, and it kind of got split. Yeah, but he'll put it back together. It's yeah. Very nice. It's it a nice piece, he says. It's a very nice piece. Yeah. How old is that? Uh... Anywhere from 67 to 65 uh, million years ago. Oh, my goodness. Because um, we're digging the Hell Creek Formation. So what are you digging up? I have no idea. <laughs> we will find out. It may be nothing. But I just came across it. And it's obviously very dark compared to the surrounding sand layer. Yeah, let me take a look at it. <laughs> yeah. Could, could be a bone, hole. could be a still it's little rock. Turtle shell. Could be. Or could be a That's turtle what shell. I found right here, so it could be it's another It's on a little turtle, turtle shell right yeah. there. And it's bone. What yeah. she's got over there is bone, whatever it is. But it's bone? Mm -hmm. So what is this? Is this a rib? It's a rib head. And this is a fragment of a limb bone of some sort. Species in Montosaurus? Most likely. Yeah, most likely. And what's that right up there next to the glue? Uh, oh, looks like a billy club. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure. Looks like a, oh, it's a big fragment, big bone fragment. Mm. I think I've got to the end of it. We'll pop it out here in a little bit. Mm. Look what I'm doing. See that? I'm really mm. getting all of this See, so you still stuff have it away. in the Oh, and uh, just a minute ago, I uh, found stuff. Uh, found uh, what is this? Found uh, a little bit of a triceratops tooth. Crown of the Triceratops tooth. Yeah. Got a root right here. Well, all all that noise you're hearing is uh the grasshoppers out here. Are ah, the rattlesnakes. 
<laughs> just a bunch of grasshoppers and rattlesnakes out here, making a lot of noise. So, uh, we're still trying to get this out. There's, there's a lot of, uh, dirt and uh, rock still around it, so dump it in the sifter, go through it, find a little bit of stuff. Okay, we found a lot of great things. Yeah, I found, uh, three more Triceratops teeth. Still have a couple more hours, uh, as you can see. Tenda is no longer there. That's because it's actually all the way up there. We found, uh, actually broke halfway, but, um, but, uh, all of it was still there. And now we're uh, taking our sifting stuff. We're going to go sift. See, everyone else is on the dig site. Hey, guys. Um, well, on day two, we were uh, digging. I was I, When we started digging down there at, uh, at our normal spot, I uh, managed to find a bone on top of here. And he said it was going back into the cliff. So we're digging, and we uh, excuse me, most of it. It's still on the ground. The other pieces are right there. And he says it's uh, probably part of a Triceratops skull element, which is uh, little pieces of the skull, probably the inside. He's not entirely sure. He's almost positive, though, it's skull. So we'll remove this in a couple minutes. He just finished uh, mapping it, you know, logging it. So he has to, anything that's scientific grade, he's got to log it. All right, what are you digging? Look at this, I found a very large bone over here, and I think it is, I think he said that this may be a vertebrae? He said maybe a rib. Okay. Yeah. Well, you hear that thunder. It's a, it's a storm going on. We got to leave here soon. But, um, it's been kind of disgusting all day. We didn't find that much. Uh, the, the little kid found, uh, a T-Rex tooth and a Nanotyrannus tooth. I found a, um, a little rib of the Triceratops right there, and, uh, and a tin foil. It's a tendon, pretty long, like six inches, and right there's the top, uh, the other piece of the tendon. And um, yeah, everyone's starting to leave because it's going to get really disgusting out. We're in a free kale storm, and we had to end the dig early because of uh, yeah, that. Yeah. You can see all those little white pebbles. It's all hail. Pea-sized hail. And look at that. Look at that uh, hail. That's all hail right there. No, I, I got it. I'm, I'm a That's all hail right there. Piles of hail. Oh, double rainbow. All right, here's the prep station. Walter is preparing the bone. using an airbrush. The most incredible bone I've ever found. Ever. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. This is a brand new dinosaur that they never said that. Hey guys, here are all my finds from the trip. These are the uh the bone fragments. It's a big, big uh 
call negative bone. It's a big rolled bone. Here's a piece of Triceratops rib. Kind of did some work on it. Looks nicer. Here's some uh, bigger. Here are the bigger fragments of bone. You couldn't really tell what these are, because they're they're just big fragments. Like here are all the fragments we found. So it's got to be at least a. Uh, 200. Here are the uh, fossilified tendons we found. Um, here's that big one we were working on for a couple days. There are a bunch of really little ones, you know. And here is the big one that we were working on when I found the Triceratops rib. I think there was a little more to it, and I might have left it at the dig site because it broke in half. This is still a little more matrix I gotta get off of it, but, you know. At that length, it's about like four inches. Here, it's one of the biggest finds. We thought it was a vertebrae. My grandfather was digging it up, and I said, just leave it because we weren't going to have enough time. There wasn't much in here. What our guide thinks it is, part of a young Triceratops frill. You see, this is not the natural cut of bone, but this is. And it's pretty thick, and it's thickest. It's about half an inch, which is thin for a Triceratops uh, frill, so it could be like a scapula, but when I look right there, there's a big vein. And usually, when you find big veins, they're in places that are covered in keratin, which Triceratops frills are believed to. So I am I think it's Triceratops frill, but it could be anything. It's just too fragmentary to tell. Here are a bunch of uh, turtle shell fragments. Let's see, And here's the, the biggest one that's in seven pieces. See the the rib going on that side. And of course there are a bunch of these little tiny fragments. Most of these I think are from the uh, the aquatic turtle, uh, Trionyx, which is still alive today. Um, over here, see the garfish scales. The alligator-like fish. Very shiny. And um, here are some of the, uh, the teeth. This is a big nanotyrannus tooth. It's a little sliver nanotyrannus tooth. And here, I thought it was just a big polis polished piece of bone. Actually, it's a little fragment of Tyrannosaurus tooth. Tyrannosaurus rex. No serrations, though. Here are some of the hadrosaur teeth from Edmontosaurus or a nanototitan. Here's the only big crown. The rest of these are just, you know, the tops of the crowns that were spit off by the animal when they were alive, called spitter teeth. Here are the raptor teeth. It's a dromaeosaurus tooth. Right here is from a raptor or troodontid called a paranychodont. No bones have been found for it, just teeth. So they're not sure if it even was a dromaeosaur. Could be anything. Here are the triceratops teeth. It's probably the nicest one. This one. Here are freshwater ray teeth. A little hard to see because they're so small, but the ray teeth, not, they couldn't have been sea rays because Hell Creek does not date to when South Dakota was still covered by seawater. Here are alligator, crocodile, maybe uh, lighty sucus teeth. And there's a scoot. And here are the really little tiny stuff that might be lizards. This is like the top of a vertebrae. It's in the body, but this is the top. Here's really little, I don't know if you can see the tooth, teeth sockets, but it's a little piece of lizard jaw. Really hard to see. And here, even smaller to see, I don't even know how we pick these out, but they're really little vertebrae from lizards and fish. I know you really can't see it, but uh, they are vertebrae. They do have two sides. And then over here, this was uh, not from our dig, but... I asked my grandfather if we could stop by the side of the road, because I love digging on the highways. <laughs> Hopefully I don't get hit. Uh, this is, these are from two different sites. Uh, one from the spearfish, that's this red stuff from the iron, and one from, uh, one from the uh, Pierre Shale, 75 and 80 million years ago. This is a straight-shelled ammonite called a baculite. See some of the still original shell right there? Baculite. Two, like, nice ammonites. This was in a bigger clump, and then I was able to chip it out. So, it's nice. Uh, here's some shell imprints. Another ammonite. 
or shell imprints, and I'm not sure. I think this is like petrified wood. I'm really not sure. It looks like petrified wood, but it could just be like quartz. And this is from the spearfish shell. It's red because it's filled with iron. Really did not find much. Just a couple tops of brachiopods. So, yeah, that's all we found. We had a really great time, and hopefully we'll go back to South Dakota.